you got the uh, New York Giants who are looking for their first win in the season, travelling to the useless uh, New Orleans Saints. Uh, <laughs> I wonder which way this went. Uh, <laughs> Jack, this is one of yours. Uh, it is. How'd it go? So it was a thriller, believe it or not. It was. Um, took its time, boiling over. The first quarter was really, really eventful. No scores until just before half time. Seven, seven apiece going in. Um, got all the way through, obviously, 27-21 final score for the Giants. Finally decided to turn up for the season, going to one and three, massive. Um, it, yeah, overtime, we all called an overtime every now and again. Each week, we seem to get it not quite right. Um, this was the overtime thriller um, for the Giants. And uh, it was, I believe, Saquon Barkley who went over the line in overtime to seal the game. But it was actually Dan Jones for me who was quite impressive, um, carrying his team 402 yards. He was good for through the one INT, but got over the line with two touchdown passes, 28 out of 40 completed. So, yeah, standard day for the Giants. I think no one was really surprised. Maybe the way the result panned out in OT, but, yeah, business as usual. And uh, season off and running for New York. Yeah, it's nice that Dan Jones has had his first good game in three years at the Giants. <laughs> well, to be fair, um, fair I, I think that this, this win, as, as I say, was deserving the Giants from the point of view, outplayed the Saints, but that, that they should be two and two because of the way that that game went against Washington, that was by far the better team. But the, the yeah. receivers let him down. There was also the kick at the end, weren't there, uh, James, we were talking about the other week, where the, the, uh, the special teams jumped offside when Dusty Hopkins missed it. And then got another go and stole the, the win from them. So they're certainly improved. Starting to get Saquon Barkley back, and he's starting to find his main receiver, Kenny Golladay. So Giants are looking competitive again. Yeah, I think for the Saints, I think they rely heavily on Alvin Kamara. I mean, looking at it, game high carries of twenty six. I mean, the next best for for them, you know, you've got Taysom Hill, Tony Jones Jr. Six and three carries. So. Minimal involvement there. It's quite it's quite evident to see that they do rely quite heavily on Kamara, and he was good for 120 yards, but nothing coming from it. Taysom Hill was quite for economic, you know, two touchdown receives from the 28 yards that he carried. So, I think for the Saints, yeah, back to the drawing board. But Giants, I think they'll be glad to get them on the uh, on the ball for a change and push on from there. Hopefully for themselves. I've got I've got a fun fact about both New York teams. Um, oh, that I'd oh, like yeah. to say. Um, so the Jets and the Giants, that was the first time in history that they've won in overtime on the same day. New York, New York. <laughs> what so that? Ended twice. I will say the overtime call, if you're not seeing it, where he said that we want the ball, and he's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna bleep this out because we want the ball, he's like as he walks away from, <laughs> from the Saints. 